hello friends welcome to my new video today we are going to learn how to set up a golang on our computers using homebrew in this tutorial we'll start by installing homebrew but before we do installation let's first launch our terminal press command space and then type in terminal in the sender search click enter and then to launch uh, the terminal okay first of all what is homebrew homebrew provides mac os with a free and open source software package management system that simplifies the installation of uh, softwares on mac os okay having understood uh, what is what a homebrew is we'll go on and install homebrew in the description i've put the link copy and paste the link into the terminal like so and then press enter so to show you what is required to install and then press enter so it will start downloading and installing homebrew on our respective machines okay the installation has successfully been installed so after this we need to set our direct homebrew directory at the top of our environment variables in batch profile type this then it will open up batch profile so mine have already typed it here the link is in the description you will copy and then paste it in our batch profile like so like that so i already have it here and and remove that so red i already have it control o to save enter control x to exit okay after saving we need to activate changes after activating our path we need to check to see whether homebrew has been successfully installed by running enter so we have successfully installed homebrew okay now it's time to install our golang on our uh, machine by typing brew search golang like so then press enter good this is the golang so it is ticks available then you will go ahead type brew install golang enter so golang was already installed on my machine if yours is not yet you will then continue the process check for the version like so so this is our version of golang it's already installed installed so we'll go ahead create a workspace for our projects okay now this is the structure of our uh, workspace folder so in our workspace we'll have a folder which will contain the executable files a source folder source is a folder which will contain most of our source files and it will have in it a subfolders and these subfolders are the ones that are going to contain the multiple controls for our applications and different projects uh, this file bin and this source so remember we need to set our default go workspace folder into our home directory go ahead and then define our workspace path default path into the bash file enter and then we need to define this path 
So after that, we need to activate our path. So it says source. Sorry, it is source, not search. Good, then. So after running those commands like so, then we can go ahead and say make directory. And then include our uh, two uh, default folders that we discussed. Then enter. Our home folder we see our go created uh, with our two default folders. Good. So we can go ahead and make uh, the first project which will be EIR. create that one and when we go back to check our go we find uh, our repository which is github folder and then you have our project created so if you don't have visual studio code you can go into the browser then type vis So when it opens, you can download for Mac or for Windows. Good. So me, I have Visual Studio Code installed. Open my project. Go to Go, then Source, and open our first project. So we can go to View. And then launch the terminal then say touch to create our first main file dot go it's created and then uh, we start our code by defining the package main then we import different libraries that we need the first will be fmt FMT stands for formatter, which has uh, different formatting uh, functions like print. Uh, when we create function in Go, we have to start with func, then the name of the function, then we call the function. You can just say FMT dot print then just say. API save and then let's run in the command line say go run main.go so we have successfully installed go on our Mac using homebrew and setting up our workspace so uh, in my next video we'll see how we can create REST API using go with other packages like Max. Okay, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in my next video.